Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me. So today I am here to show you my project share for a collaboration that I did with Coca, Coco Rosa dies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the dies really quick. Um, I want to start by saying that I actually did make two of these, but my one-year-old got a hold of it and there's nothing left of it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop right into this. Um, as always, I will have all of the links and also a discount code down below. You guys, I really enjoy working with their dies. They always cut perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this hamburger box is actually a cut file that I got on uh, Cricut Design Space and then I just took some I have a hard time you guys using these vellum pieces that come in the ephemera I don't know if it's just me anybody else but because the paper is so dark I thought that the flower actually like stood out a little bit and it did kind of get lost um so I did use that and then just one of the little tickets that I cut apart and then just kind of roughed up the edges and then another ticket here. But the little bumblebees on here, this is actually a die from them. Look how cute they are. They're so little. Um, they come in the two different sizes. So this is like the larger one and then you have like the beehive and I did the larger one and then the smaller ones right here. Super, super cute. I absolutely love this style. The little beehive is so cute. And then back here, this kind of like really delicate, um, I don't really know how to describe it, like wreath dye, I guess, that you see in the gold and the pink. That's also one of their dyes. And it's just a very subtle dye. It adds some good detail. So that is what I used on this. And I'll show all of the dyes at the end. And then next I created this. Um, this The box set is actually a dye from them. And I will show this to you. However, the part that goes on the inside... Um, I couldn't get it to cut in my machine. I have like the standard big shot and I think it was just a little bit too wide. So the actual like portion that's supposed to go on the inside, I couldn't use, but I did use the actual box itself. This is how I decided to decorate it. Again, I'm trying to use up these um, vellum ephemera pieces. And then on the inside, I decided to go ahead and make really simple little note cards and envelopes. So I decided to make little note cards and I left them very, very, very flat so that my recipient you know, could actually fit it inside the envelope. This is the first one. I tried to keep them pretty consistent. Um, so... As you can see, you will see that I use like a label throughout. And there's this one. And then this one. And then again, um, these were just little store-bought note cards and envelopes from Joanne. I think when they used to have like the Sparkle, Mrs. Sparkle, I think is what it was called. So there is that. And then lastly, I made this embellishment. Um, I think that I may use this like on the front of some sort of like album. Again, trying to use these vellum pieces. This one was rather large. The base of this um, was actually created and sent to me in the ch my challenge giveaway. And then I used this chipboard piece. And again, I used like that wreath die. And then just the some other little bits, a butterfly with a flower, and then some words. So that is what I created. Like I said, I did create two of these, but my one-year-old got a hold of it and literally destroyed it. Um, so for starters, let's go ahead and, <laughs> excuse me, I'll show you the dies. Oops. 
the bag just ripped apart. So this is the B one. And it does actually have like this base right here where you could use it like I'm assuming is maybe like a card front. And it does have like another little bumblebee right there. And then in here there's also a flower, the beehive, and then kind of like a it looks like a corner piece right there, maybe. I need to put these in the actual sleeves. And then this is the box right here. And that was for this right here. So this actually created the box. You only cut it once, it creates the box. And then this was the, as you can see, I did bend it, you guys. I was trying to get it to fit in and it was just slightly too large. But this actually went inside and kind of like stuck out and had like pockets where you could um, put things in. And I thought it was so creative and I was so excited slightly too big so bummed you guys but I think a lot of people except for me have a larger die cutting machine and then this is the wreath right here so yeah you guys that is what I created with the dies that I picked up from Coca Coco Rosa studio um it's been a very long day you guys um I hope you like what I created and as always I will leave like I mentioned all the links and a discount code um you guys they have amazing dyes and they're constantly releasing new ones so go head on over go check them out and yeah anyways I hope you guys have a fabulous day thank you so much for watching bye